We love to point the pink finger to society and our parents why it's their fault. We hate to look in the mirror mm -hmm. and, and have accountability and we need to acknowledge both. I feel like, at least in my culture, in the Greek culture, that's all anybody cared about. My parents were like, what are the people at the church going to say? What are the people in the community going to say? Like everybody was crippled by what everybody else was going to say. So there's a lot of deprogramming that I have to do to not care because I've been raised to care so much. I would think that your culture was very similar. Um, it was. I, again, I give a tremendous amount of credit to my parents because I fell into that cocoon, which is a little different. But then, listen, I had other people in my life that were very much that way, close relatives, even grandmother, who I think valued other people's opinions too much. Um, I think it's practice. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, it's, I, I think that we have crossed the chasm in the last 20 years that we as a culture understand that eating smartly and going and doing physical activity and going to the gym will translate into you physically looking better. And I do not believe, even though thank God in the last five to 10 years, there's been a much better conversation around mental health and the mind. I believe we're more in the Richard Simmons, Jack LaLanne, Gold's Gym era on mental hmm. health and mental offense and, and how do we get into these places. I think we're in the same place that physical fitness and health was in the mm -hmm. 80s. I think in 2020, that's where we are with the mind. And I'm happy because God willing, 20 years from now when I'm 64, I think I'm gonna be walking around the streets and being excited because I think people are gonna subscribe to some of the things that I've lived and have, and have seen enormous happiness in me and others that can get there an enormous unhappiness in those who are on the complete upper side of this. So I think it's practice. I think it's working out. I think it's therapy. I think it's consuming content. It, the biggest reason right, that I put out content on this subject matter is I can put out content on what to do tactically on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and podcasts. And I do a lot of that and people value that in me. Getting to a place where you understand that you're accountable for your happiness, which means having tough conversations with yourself about your reliance on your parents and others to give you the freedom to not have to worry about other people's blueprint mm -hmm. is an extreme challenge for all of us because first of all, it speaks to, it's really fun to say, I'm not gonna listen to my parents. It's really not fun to say everything that is happening to me is my fault and I can't take money from my parents anymore because that gives them leverage. And I can't do this, that, and the other thing. So we love to point the pink finger to society and our parents why it's their fault. We hate to look in the mirror mm -hmm. and, and have accountability. And we need to acknowledge both to get to start the chess moves to get into a place of happiness. So I think it's about consuming content and, and reinforcing those words in your mind of this is an actual truth in society.